Hi guys, it is June 25, 2018. I posted this video, just talking anti-geoengineering activist Chris Haskell, arrested, charged as terrorist, pleading with all of you to please donate to help Chris. And I put all of the information down below the PayPal account. I got, in three days, 1,964 views. A Plain Truth posted this 13 days ago, free Chris Haskell, all of the donating information. A Plain Truth again, 15 days ago, the Chris Haskell interview, donating information. A Plain Truth again, June 10, 15 days ago, the beat up and imprisonment of Chris Haskell for protesting geoengineering donating information. Chris Haskell, we got your back. This was posted four days ago, John Knox. John Knox Patreon donations for Chris Haskell tour. And he says he's got incredible support. Two patrons. Well, since I posted my video, 24 people donated. 24 people. And I want to thank every one of you who donated. Every one of you. So, out of 1,974, just for my, just for my video. And then when you add up, well, 4,512 views, 7,645 views, 10,940 views, 167, 111. Well, if every one of those, if everyone who had viewed one of those videos, he could have far more than the $5,786.96 that he got. You know, when people speak the truth, these activists who, well, Chris Haskell, he's never stopped. Nothing has ever stopped this guy. And he's not just fighting for himself. He fights for all of us, all of us. And you know what? Because so many people do not take any action, that, that means that those who, whatever it is inside them that compels them to go on with the action that they take, it, it increases the burden on them. They feel a greater weight. You know, if everybody pitched in and did something, Wow, that would lessen a whole lot of the burden. What's wrong with this community? Well, look, you know, we, we have these psychopathic, narcissistic, evil, unbelievably evil, twisted nut jobs who are killing life itself, who destroy good destroy good people like Chris Haskell, arrested, German shepherds, he has to get stitches from German shepherds biting his thigh, beaten up, and now attorney fees, court costs, Jesus, and when you are fighting an arrest over geoengineering, my God, well, you've got a big fight ahead of you. And then, you know, forget about the finances, the emotional toll. The emotional toll that this takes, suffering the consequences of evil. 
I don't I don't know. I guess I had expectations. I've been thinking a lot about when I first got on YouTube. I think I did have these expectations of the quote unquote awake crowd. Such a misnomer because everybody is on different pages, everybody has different levels of knowledge and you know, awake does not mean just having knowledge regarding what is happening to us collectively, but it also means that you're, you're doing the work necessary to become awake about your own self, trying to raise your consciousness, doing all of that work, right? Okay. I think I did have greater expectations than I did of our, you know, willfully ignorant fellow Americans. I, I, I just, I, I thought people would do something with the knowledge that they gain from others. I thought, I thought people, when they see their fellow Americans who are out there on the front lines, when they see something like what has happened with Chris, that they would have his back. And that they would do everything to ensure the safety of the activists in this fight. And you know what? Only a few do. Only a few do. And that that is so unbelievably disheartening. But look, when you've got those psychopathic narcissists who who may have their differences but they are organized with their fight to reshape the world, to kill off the natural world, to bring in an artificial one, to kill life, to destroy people, to destroy economies, destroy countries. They're so organized, man. It's why they're winning. 24 people donated. Since... I posted the video. And if, well, I, I just, I don't know, I don't know what to say anymore, guys. I am so grateful for those who do donate. Um, I don't know, there's something, there's something about the people who do donate. What, what makes the difference? What makes the difference? You understand the connection between all of us and Chris? You care? You don't want to see someone that you only know via YouTube and their activism. You don't know them personally, but you're out there. You're wanting to help them. Because you understand, one goes down, we all go down. Six years. And I've seen so many people go down. We can't even have the back of each other. Look, I know that there are an awful lot of activists out there that are doing what they know is the right thing and they can't stop. They can't stop. They have to do the right thing. They actually feel compelled. There's something in them where they cannot stop. They have to stand up, speak out, for truth, for life, and they won't stop. No matter what happens, they won't stop. But I wish I did know the difference. What makes that difference? I wish I could package it and, and give it away for free to everyone so that they could so that they too had that courage and that moral center that makes them continue on.
doing the right thing. But there's only a few. So, it is why evil wins. Evil is winning. If we can't even help Chris Haskell, my God, <laughs> it's, it's truly a disgrace. You can get as pissed off at me as you want to. But it's a disgrace. And you can look at yourselves. Now there are some people who literally cannot donate and I understand that. And I know those subscribers that can't. But, my God, <laughs> there are so many who can, and they just don't. So, there is a reason why this community is the way it is. And every individual in this community, you need to face yourself and see what it is that you are not contributing and what you do contribute. Do you contribute something that makes this community stronger, or are you contributing in a way that weakens it? And what I mean by that is you posting videos about other people, calling them shills. Are you leaving comments, calling people shills and disinformation, and you have no proof? Are you part of the divide and conquer? Or are you part of trying to pull people together and unite them? And you know what? If you can't do that, then what you are about is simply, this is your entertainment here. And no better than those who just watch TV. If you can't circulate information, if you're not doing anything. I am speechless. I don't know what else to say. <laughs>